Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. So in today's video, I have my August favorites for you guys. I haven't done, usually my favorites are like Amazon focused favorites. This is like a general favorites, but I do have quite a bit of Amazon stuff on here still. I just recorded a hairstyle video with my box braids. I wish, I don't know which video is going first, this one or the box braid video. Probably the box braid video. So if it is up, go ahead and watch it if you haven't already. Um, I've kept my braids in over a month, which is a long time for me because the last time I had braids, I took them out after like 10 days, but I've kept these in for over a month and I've enjoyed them, but I'm also ready to get back to my wig. So I'm going to start off with music. So just like everybody else in the world, Renaissance by Beyonce has been on repeat. Okay. It's got me in a chokehold. I love it so much. It's probably one of my favorite Beyonce albums and I can confidently say that because I have never had an album where I listen to it all the time, all the time, all the way through. Even the songs I didn't like initially have grown on me. It's just so good. Like I know there's people, like everybody is not going to like it, but the vibes, she's singing so well, the transitions, the good, like everything about renaissance is it for me i think it's amazing i love it so my absolute favorite song on the album is virgo's is virgo's groove it's amazing the transition from plastic off the sofa to virgo's groove is insane but she has so many other you know really good transitions and stuff on there the album is a vibe it came out on it came out on july 29th but i didn't start listening to it until like the first week of august and since listening to it that first time, I was kind of like, I don't know. But then after listening to it again and again, I adore it. Like, oh my God, Renaissance is everything, okay? If you love Renaissance like I do, tell me in the comments what is your favorite song on the album. I'm going with Virgo's Groove followed by... Mm, probably... Cuff It. It's just a good, it's just good vibes, but I love so many songs on there. It's just hard to, it's really hard to say one, but clearly it's Virgo's groove for me. So Renaissance is amazing. If you like dance music, you like house music, then you'll like that album. Mm -hmm. But if you're not into it, you probably won't. As far, okay, now it's about to get into like just a bunch of random stuff because that's what my favorite videos are like. I bought these next um, pair of sneakers from Amazon during the Prime Day sale in august and these are the adidas cloud foam sneakers and they are all white i do have a black spot on them i don't even know where it came from so i need to wash them so i don't know if i can get that stain off but i think i can get that stain off i'll have to update you guys if you want to know but they're very very comfortable i wear them to work out but they are nice enough to wear with like casual you know athleisure outfits and stuff but they're very, very comfortable even when I'm lifting. I feel like overall those um, sneakers are very, very comfortable and they're very cute. Next is this quick chicken dip that I've been, I ate so much in August. So I like very easy meals, especially for lunch. And I posted this video on Instagram and TikTok. I think I put it on my TikTok where I took some rotisserie chicken that I got from Walmart it's already chopped up and you know pulled off the bone and stuff I didn't even know Walmart had that but in their deli section they have that then I took some cream cheese some salsa and some um, pickled jalapenos and I and I heated it up in the microwave for two minutes and ate it with some Doritos it's so easy I feel like that's like a, a really quick meal that kids can make for themselves or just you know grown-ups like me that don't feel like you know, cooking a whole meal. Very easy to make and very, very good. I feel like I got the idea from Pinterest, but I just kind of made it my own and I didn't use a crock pot or like I didn't put it on the stove because I that does seem like a crock pot kind of dip, but just making it in a bowl, like a single serving size in a bowl for yourself and that be like a quick lunch love it so much and it's very very good oh and i also put cheddar cheese in it as well like sh uh, shredded cheddar cheese and it's very very tasty i'm gonna mention the head wraps from amazon i think like i said i think that video of me styling my different braids it's up um and 
there's a nine pack of stretchy solid colored headbands that I got um head wraps that I got from Amazon and I've been wearing them a lot I do like that they have a, a a nice long length but they're also very stretchy and soft I own a lot of head wraps and some of them are stiff and it's not like my favorite to wear because they're so stiff but I like these because they're a solid color they're long and they're stretchy so you can mold them a lot easier than some of the other head wraps that I've tried and I like that it's a multi-pack. You get a lot of variety and colors with these um, just with one set. And I think it was about $40 for, for nine of them. I don't know if that is that good or bad, but nine for 40, I don't know. It might be a little bit high. You could probably find some at a beauty supply store or something like that, but it's on Amazon if you're looking for some. It's a set of nine for about $40. Okay, something I've been loving lately. I have been in love with watching fall decor videos and clean with me videos um i'm definitely getting older because like i'll watch somebody clean their entire house um and decorate for fall and stuff so i've been studying um just like you know how people go about decorating their houses for fall and stuff like that um so i can prepare for my video and you know my fall videos to come um, and I've just enjoyed watching how people do like them lighting candles before they start cleaning and um, turning on like fall themed, you know, movies and stuff while they're cleaning and decorating. Oh, I love it so much. So um, I feel like because I love that kind of content, like I personally enjoy watching that. That's the kind of content I want to be more consistent with on my channel because I've done actually quite a bit of decor videos in the last two years and I do have a playlist if you haven't watched any of my home decor videos but now I feel like it's going to be like on a consistent basis especially with fall and then Christmas. Christmas might be easier than fall because this is my first year actually uh, decorating for fall period. I've never decorated for fall but last year I really went in with Christmas. And so because I already have my Christmas stuff for the most part from last year, it's going to be a little bit easier. I'll just add like a few things here and there, but a lot of fall stuff. So y'all stay tuned. Please watch it. Like, especially like my people that the people who always like watch my vlogs and stuff like that, they'll tune in. But, you know, those fringe kind of people tune in because that's what I'm passionate about, you know, right now. Okay, this this place called Jeremiah's Italian Ice. So... We have one in Boiling Springs, South Carolina, and they just opened probably about a month ago, and they're so good. So, um, it's obviously Italian ice. One of my favorite flavors is the cookie butter. It's such a nice, nutty, um, subtle flavor to it. It's so delicious. And then they have something called gelati, which is um, layers of Italian ice and soft serve ice cream very good and they have free pup cups so coda enjoys it when we go there um we always ask for a pup cup for him so it's like peanut butter italian ice and like whipped cream on top and he loves that so much something else i've loved is the is this amazon light fixture that we got over our dining table and you guys will see that more when i do um my fall decorate with me for the dining room and kitchen it elevated our dining room so much. It looks so, so good. It's black. And then we got these bulbs from Home Depot, from, from Lowe's. It looks so good and chic and modern. I love it so much. As soon as that got installed, I was like, oh my gosh, it transformed our kitchen. So if you want to, like with decorating our, our kitchen and dining area, we didn't do like renovations and painting and stuff. We just changed out fixtures and you know um got stuff installed so if you don't want to do like a full-on like renovation definitely change out fixtures and stuff like that your your sink or your handles your knobs and pulls and you know lights and stuff and it'll be like a nice upgrade for your space if you don't want to do like a whole thing love that light so much it looks so good in that space now i've mentioned these this particular shapewear on my Instagram and TikTok, and I've mentioned it on my YouTube channel as well. Last year, Nita Danielle put me on to this specific shapewear, and I love it, okay? So I have lost, you know, some weight, but I still love shape shapewear. People can benefit from shapewear regardless of your size, even if you're on the petite side. It just smooths out your silhouette more and just makes you look like more 
uh, just smooth with your silhouette so you don't have to be plus size to wear shapewear and I'm mentioning this for the people who like shapewear if you don't like shapewear you don't have to wear it because especially if you're wearing more form-fitting you know uh, dresses and stuff like that but of course it's your body if you don't want to wear it don't knock it for other people it looks so good with like bodycon kind of dresses and most shapewear isn't comfortable in general so this isn't like you're not gonna feel like completely free or whatever but it's not like horribly uncomfortable and it doesn't have like seams so you could you can't really see you can't see it through like whatever you're wearing i like that it's just a great buy i have literally probably four or five pairs of the spanx power shorts and i'm a size 16 and i wear a 2x i think i have one pair and a 3x going up a size is going to make it a lot more comfortable for you so you consider that with whatever size you are already i highly recommend those um that shapewear and i did a recently i did a amazon dress video you can watch that if you haven't already i feature that shapewear in that video and i put it on my tiktok and instagram and a lot of people responded well to that video and they were asking me where I got that shapewear from. I got mine from Amazon. It's about $37. Well worth it. Um, next is the Delancey sideboard. So we got this sideboard from Wayfair. Wayfair, I don't think I've gotten anything from Wayfair that I didn't like. We did get these um, dining chairs from Wayfair, I believe. And they weren't the best as far as like how they were constructed. But we made it work. Um, but we got this black sideboard for the kitchen and, uh, for the dining, for the dining room so we could have additional storage and just to have like another element to fill that space up and it looks so good. I love black accents now. We got somebody else to put it together because <sighs> convenience is everything for us. So if we have to pay a little bit extra for somebody else to install something, then we'll do that. So we got somebody to put it together and it just looks so good. And we also got a cabinet that's on the way that's like a smaller version of that. And we're going to use that as the basis for our um, coffee bar. So um, we're going to have two wood floating shelves above it and then a black cabinet that's like a smaller version of the sideboard in that area right beside... Uh, right between the gallery wall and the kitchen. The gallery wall and like the kitchen cabinets. And that'll be our coffee bar. So that's coming up. I'll show you guys that on my channel. But um, the sideboard the sideboard that we already have from Wayfair in our dining room is so nice. So glad we, we found that on there. I have been using these bowls to death. Like I'm going to say in the last year I've gotten more acquainted with like Walmart. Because we live so close to Walmart. Um, I wish we had a Target like right beside us. I would be there every single day. But Walmart has some good stuff, especially in their home, in their home decor kind of section. I replaced a lot of our um, plates and stuff that we've had over the years because they don't match and I wanted more of a aesthetic kitchen nowadays. So um, I picked up these gravy bowls gravy sir i think they're called gravy serving bowls um the brand better homes and gardens and i th they were very inexpensive i think they're like six dollars and that's where i eat a lot of my salads and you know pastas and stuff out of those bowls they're just a really nice size and they look chic and simple and they're white if you are moving or you just want to upgrade your you know flatware cookware all that kind of stuff def definitely check out walmart because it's gonna be affordable and they they'll surprise you they have a lot of like on trend stuff they have charcuterie boards and they have this collection called time and table which is like very like modern current kind of stuff with their um with their plates and stuff like that i actually want to get one of their slim block um knife sets because i got this knife set that's on amazon but it's kind of fanned out and it's pretty big and we don't have a lot of counter space. So I wanted something that's a little bit more condensed than that. So I think I might get a knife set from Walmart. But those bowls are everything and I use them all the time. And I just start using them in the last two months. Check out your local Walmart and see what they have in stock. I need to see what they have in stock for fall because that's one place I haven't shopped yet. All, uh, our particular Walmart, they just had um, back to school stuff still. So... I'm waiting to see what they have for fall. The next, whoa, the next like 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven items have to do with shipping. So I just did an August wig sale and I'm pretty sure I want to have another wig sale in September because I don't want to have my space overran with, with wigs. I love to have my space like just not overran with anything. Um, I just decluttered my office yesterday for the first time after my wig sale and I just feel so much better in here. And I wanna continue to get rid of some wigs so I can just focus on the wigs that I love the most. And I think my next wig sale is gonna be on Friday, September 26th, but I'll make it official for you guys. But because of these products, it made this wig sale go a lot more smooth than the ones in the past because this was a huge wig sale. I'm telling you guys, this was the most wigs I've ever sold um, because I haven't had one in about a year. And I had some good deals too, okay? Some of, some of those like RPG show wigs and stuff run like $600, but I sold them for 200. So the next time I have a wig sale, if you can participate, definitely participate because I'm marking down these prices a lot. So um, the first, Thing I want to mention from the wig sale that I enjoyed was this fulfillment app called ShipStation. Um, I use Big Cartel, but they are affiliated with um, ShipStation as well. So it brought all of my orders in from Big Cartel, and it helped me to, you know, keep up with everything. The only thing is, I have to figure out how to notify the people who purchase something that it's been shipped. Their stuff has been shipped. Um, cause a lot of people didn't have it. So they, they had to like reach out to me and then I had to send them their shipping confirmation and stuff. So next time I hopefully I'll have that figured out, but, um, I do like ship station and I pay, uh, $9.99 every month for that. And this time it just went very well. And I bought a new thermal printer because I used to hand write everything for my wig sales, but the amount of orders that I had this time I had to I had to get me a thermal printer so and I think that was like a hundred or something dollars but well worth it especially if I'm gonna start doing wig sales on a more consistent basis so if you didn't participate in this one the August one try to participate in September and then I bought I bought all of my stuff from Amazon for my wig sales my like envelopes the poly mailers and stuff got those from Amazon I've had some with hearts on them before and unicorns but this time I just had black and like a aqua color I believe and they have different sizes as well so if you have a small business definitely pick up your um, products and stuff from Amazon because you get them shipped in a few days and it's it's relatively affordable and it's just great investment like the thermal printer was more expensive but I, I just see that as a really good investment instead of writing everything by hand. I bought me a pink scale because when you're, um, you know, printing off your labels and stuff at home, you need to weigh your stuff so you can go ahead and pay for it and do all that, the, do all that stuff at home. So when you get to the post office, all you have to do is drop it off. Because what I would do was back in the day, I would pack all my orders and then take like take 10 packages to the post office. Then they have to type everything in for me. The line gets backed up. It's such a pain. So it's always nice to do everything at home and then just drop your stuff off and be done with it. I got these mesh bags. A lot of my wigs and stuff, I don't keep them in the original packaging, but I still want it to be in a nice, uh, a nice presentation. So I bought these mesh bags and I put a lot of my human hair wigs in those. That's a good option too if you are if you're selling press on nails, you can get those mesh those mesh bags. And if you're doing wig sales, you can do that as well. And I'll have all that here for you guys. And the zipper envelopes. So the zipper envelopes, that's what I keep a lot of my um, synthetic wigs that come in boxes because I don't like to keep my wigs in boxes. I have a lot of wigs in boxes over here that I've recently purchased that I want to show you guys. Wait. I'm going to actually film that real quick and show you guys in the video. I'll insert it. Yeah, but I don't really like to keep my wigs in boxes because I don't have a closet to kind of conceal them. And I want my space to remain looking good. So I'm so glad that I cleaned out my wigs and stuff and did that wig sale because I want, I was, I've been looking for Outre Lynette, but I think Outre discontinued it. And I was like, I reviewed this last year and I know I didn't sell it in a wig sale and I can't find it, but I had it mislabeled. And so I just found it after cleaning out my stuff. So this is what the zipper envelopes 
are here i love these so with the wigs that come in boxes that i want to keep but i don't want to keep the box i get these zipper envelopes here it's like a plastic envelope with a zipper and i write the name of the wig right here and i just put it in there so i have outre lynette in here and i can easily find it because it's labeled so highly recommend those if you are doing storage like i have back here so in the bottom six over here that's how i store most of my wigs okay and um the ikea totes now these totes are very versatile you can use them for anything but i use mine to carry all of my packages from the wig sale to the post office and i know you can um schedule pickups at your house but i was just like i want to make sure i'm on time with everything so i dropped them off at the post office um with my two ikea totes now i use yeah that's usually that's mainly what i use those ikea totes for is for wig sales but you can also use those totes for just shopping in general for groceries yeah for anything it's just very conven convenient to have uh you can save on you can save on using plastic bags and just have whoever's ringing you up just put your stuff directly into your ikea bags but they're so convenient to have especially if you're carrying a lot of stuff at one time okay i already told you guys i'm going to mention this again but i wear them every single day pretty much every day leo levon put me on to crocs last year i have seen crocs for years but i thought they i think they're they're ugly even right now they're ugly but they're so comfortable like I won't even reach for my sandals i'll reach for my crocs because they're insanely comfortable and i feel like i have issues with my feet with like my arch and it my feet hurt a lot um and it's i think because i lift weights now it's kind of become worse uh but my crocs are so comfortable and if you have issues with your feet and your feet are uncomfortable definitely try crocs because they are so comfortable ugly but comfortable well all the ones that i have are ugly because i have like brown and black and like neutral colors but my sister has some tie-dye ones and they're super cute so i might consider getting like some you know prettier colors um so they look cute um and i don't have any charms in mine either so uh they're ugly <laughs> still but they're very very comfortable i bought adrian some but they're a little bit too small so i have to return them and get him some more because i want him to be a part of the crocs life because they're so comfortable at the end of july um i bought a polaroid camera because we were having a birthday dinner at our house for adrian's um, birthday and i thought that would be a cool thing to buy and it was a hit it was so nice to have a polaroid camera and but the the film for the polaroid camera it's expensive so i think you only get like maybe 16 pictures per set i forgot how much the film is but um i think i purchased this polaroid set for about 160 dollars so worth it it's so cool to have like tangible pictures and the vibes from the polaroids give like 80s 90s vibes um so if you want kind of like a vintage feel with your photography or you have an event or like a party or something you know definitely check out polaroids because it's just a vibe i feel like you appreciate the pictures more because they are because they are tangible versus um just like a picture you can take on your phone so um and the last thing i want to mention that i love is the gallery wall that we got from amazon so this is not the first time i'm mentioning this gallery wall on my channel um for christmas i got my mama a gallery wall from amazon i initially um she asked for a gallery wall for christmas and so i just you know looked it up to see on certain websites how much that cost one website it was like 500 dollars, and i was like hmm, i'm not paying that so i went on amazon and i saw people saying that this this like 70 dollar um nine piece gallery wall was really really good so we got that for her for christmas and it was so nice so nice that i got one for our house um she got hers in black it looks beautiful and we printed pictures off from walgreens and we got them in black and white because she wanted her pictures to be black and white she hung her gallery wall with command strips and it looks very good so we we got somebody to hang our gallery wall for us we usually would use command strips but um just in case we want to easily change out stuff we wanted to get somebody to to um hang it for us and we got it in white and it looks so good i didn't check my package until 
the return date was over and one of the pieces of glass was broken inside mine and I was like panicking and everything but I went on Amazon they actually sell replacement glass on Amazon for the exact size that I needed so I ordered that and I'm gonna put that inside of the one that was um, broken so keep that in mind if you do order it and you have broken glass they do sell replacement glass on Amazon so you can get real glass or you can get plexiglass they sell both on Amazon so that came in clutch and um, we're gonna we're gonna um, do black and white pictures as well um, and again our frames are white and it just looks really good and chic in there so if you're looking for a gallery wall, go on Amazon. It's going to be a lot more affordable than certain websites that kind of specialize in gallery walls and stuff like that. The quality might be a little bit different. Like, of course, if you're paying $500, it's probably going to be better quality. But I'm very happy with the quality of the gallery wall from Amazon. So that was all of my favorites this month. <sighs> I feel like this video is going to be long, but I, I just wanted to share all that with you guys. Um, again, I do have some fall decor content coming up and I'm so excited. I got some really good stuff from Home Goods. Home Goods Tuesday morning, Target, Kirkland's, Michael's, a lot of stuff. So um, tune into those videos. I have that haul coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you have not already, please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll be updated every time I do uploads. Follow me on all of my other social media platforms, TikTok and Instagram at iFancyCupcakes. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the